Hey there! Today we're going to talk about a pen which is by a brand that I've never heard of. Someone uh, suggested this pen to me and I'm, I'm glad he did because it turned out to be a pretty nice pen. It's a German brand, uh, Werther. Simple, nice boxes. This is actually uh, not metal, it's just some type of foil stuff. They got printed on there but it still looks pretty cool I think. Slide tie box you get a little, well it's not even a booklet, it's just a sheet of paper pretty much. You are holding a high quality product from Werther, the Baden-Baden traditional family company. Yes, Baden-Baden is actually a town in Germany. Um, this product has been made by hand with devotion in Germany. For this we offer a worldwide guarantee. Das Werther Produkt Sortiment umfasst Fallminenstifte. Fallminenstifte. I'm sorry, I don't know where to put the stress there. Germans, help me out. Schreibgeräte und Accessoires. Would you say Accessoires in German? Would you say Accessoires? Oh, I don't know. Um, it's a French word. In außergewöhnlichem Design, elegant und funktionell. Wir wünschen Ihnen viel Freude mit Ihrem Wörterprodukt. So they wish you uh, great pleasure with the product. Uh, and it's uh, it's very nice. They sign with the Wörter family, Baden-Baden. I think it's quite, quite nice. Um, and if you want to check out these guys, it's... Wörter with OE dot DE. Check them out because it's pretty cool. You get one standard international short cartridge and you get the pen. And the pen, this is their compact model, and I think it is super cool. Um, it looks like this. And yes, that is a hexagonal design. Very cool. I'll cover the parts of the pen, tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then a new writing sample. I'm just shaking around there to see if I could get you nauseous. Um, so let's start on top of the pen, top of the cap. As you can see, it says Werther, and I think Germany. Yes, Werther, Germany, right on top of that. That's, I think that's a bit of plastic, about the only bit of plastic on there. Um, the clip. spring-loaded not a whole lot of spring but it's definitely spring-loaded which is cool means it won't rip your shirt pocket off uh, and then you get that sort of matte aluminum or aluminium uh, thing they got going uh, which I really like it's matte as you can see here has a bit of texture it's very smooth but it's it you, you do feel something it's quite nice it's, it's a bit hard to describe but uh, the, yeah, I think this was my first true aluminum pen, and it's it's really really nice. At the bottom, there's nothing, but you can clearly see that that hexagonal shape, uh, which I think is very cool. By no means this is the only pen that does it. You have that that um, uh, Faber Castell Ondoro, which which has this sort of shape, but I do like it, and it's indeed a fairly compact pen. Um, I don't happen to have a lot of stuff lying around. Now this is an oversized pen, but I mean this is my Visconti Opera Crystal, and this is the Werther Compact. So it's not that small, but it's definitely compact. It feels compact. All right, cap just slides off, and you get the section, which is also aluminum. This is not plastic, and I like that. It, it makes for a very nice grip. Uh, the nib is uh, it has Iridium Point Germany on there. Well, actually, it has Iridium Point on there. Um, and an M, but what is super cool is that they have done that in a Fraktur script. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't really show you that here, but it's not your your average standard uh, serif, uh, actually sans serif like font. Uh, it, it's it, I think it's very cool. I mean, the pen's from Germany, Gothic script originated in Germany. I think it's super cool that they did this. Um, well, then you have the uh, the feed. Nothing too spectacular there. Um, it's a fee and it works well. Had very good ink flow with this pen. Oh, and by the way, the, the section is, is nicely tapered uh, and has that little lip there to keep the cap in place, uh, which is very simple. There's a bit of a step down from the barrel, as you can see. I personally didn't really have any issues with it, but if you hold your pen a bit higher, you're going to feel that. But I'll, I'll come back to that in a second. Unscrew the barrel. Nice, big, deep threads. and uh, really keeps the uh, barrel on securely. 
Uh, there was no converter that came with the pen, but I, I just had one of these uh, universal Chinese converters lying around. And as you can see, it's a, a bit of a tight fit, but it definitely fits, right? There's enough space for this to work. There's nothing really in the barrel, so you can just make that work. All right, things I like about it, things I don't like about it. Well, what I like about it is the overall looks. I like the hexagonal design. I like the weight. Let's put it on the scale for a second. Yeah, it's about 30 grams uneat. Not bad. Um, I like the spring loaders clip. I'm always a big fan of that. It's just so easy to use, so pleasant to use. Uh, the nib is okay. It's it's smooth. I wouldn't call this excessively smooth or anything, but it's I've had worse. Um, and I think that's kind of what I like about the pen. I like the the grip section. It's it's definitely uh, it's not slippery or anything. Nice shape, pleasant to hold. All right. Things I don't like about it. Well, it would be nice if it came with a converter, but I mean you can buy a separate converter, so it's not a big issue. It it wasn't that expensive a pen. Um, you cannot post this, and that is uh, something that some people might not appreciate because it's not that big. For me, it's it's good enough. Um, but it might be nice if you would be able to post this, but it just does not it just does not work. The, the cap does not fit on there in any way. Okay, and I mean even though there is a bit of a sort of a very minor step down thing going on at the end of the barrel, I mean that's of course not nearly enough to, to hold the cap in place. So that's not possible. And some people just like to post everything they use, so for those people this might be an issue. Another issue is that there is a step down thing going on from the barrel as you can see. You see and you're looking at the nib end and you see that there's quite a step down. And this is fairly sharp. Not so much these little facets, but those actual the the, the angle, the corners uh, of the uh, hexagon, they are they are a little sharp. And if you hold your pen a bit higher, you're going to feel those. I, I'm now curling up my, my middle finger right underneath those those that, that step down and I can feel sharp bits. On the other hand, the section is made in a very nice manner and your, your fingers sort of naturally slide down. And then I don't feel anything of those sharp corners. So it's really a matter of holding the pen. Ideally, I think this is a pen you would like to try out before you buy it. But I'm not sure. I've never seen them in shops, so I'm not sure whether they're easily um, tried out. Maybe in Germany they're more common. I, I don't know. And that's all there's to it. So let's take some measurements. And I'll do a writing sample. How about that? So, capped, we're talking about a 132 millimeter pen not too big. Then uncapped what we've got going is 117 millimeters. The section has a diameter at the finest point of 8 millimeters at the widest point of 10 millimeters and somewhere in the middle where you're likely to hold it it is exactly nine millimeters. I think we need to see this pen in action. So that's what we're going to do next. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we have this Werther Compact Fountain Pen. I think it's a pretty fascinating pen, as you can see, very sharply defined facets. Doesn't roll around on your desk has some nice weight to it, so pretty pleasant to use. The nib, I would say, is a medium. What is really nice, and something I'm not sure whether I can show you, um, I'm going to do my best by zooming in as much as I can, hoping it will still focus. No, not at that extreme range. Okay. Uh, you see that iridium point? I can switch on the light, maybe that'll help. See the iridium point letters? They're sort of fraktur, like a gothic uh, font. I think that is very, very cool. I don't think I've ever seen that in a fountain pen. 
and it also says M for medium. Okay, we have the ink, it's uh, Private Reserve Avocado, uh, and the paper is Rhodia. Very smooth, nice and pleasant. This is the type of nib that gives a little bit of feedback as you write, but a feedback that is not unpleasant. Some people really like their pens to be excessively smooth, and some kind of like uh, a bit of feedback so that you know that you're writing. And this pen falls in that latter category. Let's do some fast writing. So there is absolutely no scratchiness here. Just a bit of nice feedback. Writes well, no skips, nice and I think this is a pretty wet pen. Beautiful even patch of ink. And as you can see, very wet. Lays down a nice wet smooth line. What about line variation? We can squeeze some out, as you can see, not a whole lot, but it's, it's definitely there. A little bit of reverse writing. Nib upside down, very unpleasant. This is really extremely scratchy. I'm already collecting some paper fiber in the nib, so I'm not going to push that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, use the pen like that. And uh, you know what? That's pretty much all there is to it. So I hope this was useful. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.